there are still some industries that can't find workers fast enough, of course. Kate Rogers is in Queens, New York, with a look at one area where job demand is really taking off. Had to do it, Kate. <laughs> I don't mind it, Gord. Good to see you guys. That's right. The aviation industry is set to need some 750 thousand aviation maintenance technicians over the next two decades just like these gentlemen here who have been fixing this windshield for the better part of today the industry is facing a gender and skills gap along with an aging workforce but their colleague diana rodriguez is up for the challenge she's currently in the apprentice program with JetBlue here in queens mostly working overnight shifts fixing and maintaining their planes i, I love aviation i love this field it's mainly hands-on and I, I don't see myself working in an office setting, so I mainly love the hands-on aspect of it. Now, finding techs to work in the field can be a challenge. It's why companies like Delta and JetBlue are partnering with training schools around the country, like Aviation High School in Queens. Both Diana and her supervisor, Watson Jones, are graduates of that school. Even decades into his career as a technician, Jones says the job is still exciting and challenging. The toughest part, it's not always the same routine every day. Um, and sometimes the airplanes stump us, so we got to figure it out, but we figured it out. Also of note here about this field and these jobs in particular, they can pay around $70,000 a year. And what's important to note is that you don't need a four-year college degree in order to achieve and maintain that wage and even go up from there, guys. Back over to you. Kate. Kate, I found it interesting that they're training Diana because a lot of the criticisms we've heard about this tight labor market is that there's actually really not enough training when there is a skills gap that exists. And you said that she's doing it overnight. Is that is that normal with, for this job? Yeah, Courtney, that's one of the big challenges within the industry is finding young people like Diana to want to work that overnight shift because it's definitely not for someone who wants to work a traditional nine to five, but some people make that lifestyle work for them. Um, some of the students from Avi Aviation High School go to college during the day and then they put the licenses that they get from that school to work at night doing a, a third shift and an overnight shift. So it's interesting. It's certainly a challenge for the industry, but there are people like Diana and others who are very willing to do it. 70k is the starting salary, Kate. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, they can make around $25 an hour, sometimes higher than that. Uh, you know, and if you're at the top of your game and you've been doing this for a while, you can certainly make six figures and more. Well, that's uh, expertise needed for that job. I wouldn't have the first idea. They deserve it. <laughs>